Uh, so today in this module we would be discussing the diagnosis of pulmonary tuberculosis and that could in, in, encompass the uh, MDR tuberculosis as well as XDR tuberculosis. So the diagnosis of tuberculosis you know we have been taught to begin with symptoms and uh, earlier all of you know that it was 3 week cough and then it was later reduced to 2 weeks. Largely it was based upon studies which showed that uh, even 2 weeks cough is enough to uh, catch the 90% uh, of the suspect population of tuberculosis. So the duration of cough have 2 weeks have come from those studies. Uh, the further definition refinement has now occurred and they say that uh, you now presume a patient to be a TB suspect when the cough is more than 2 weeks or there is a fever persistent low grade for more than 2 weeks. If the patient has hemoptysis again he becomes a suspect of pulmonary tuberculosis. If there is an unexplained weight loss occurring that is also a suspect of tuberculosis patient. And lastly if the x-ray shows uh, any opacity which is not explained otherwise then that is also a presumptive diagnosis of tuberculosis. So any of these features any single one feature alone merits the further investigation for the diagnosis of tuberculosis. So uh, we have uh, uh, refined these definitions now of presumptive uh, tuberculosis diagnosis primarily because the case notification was not proper and we wanted to increase the patient's uh, domain for the diagnosis. Now uh, the x-ray has now been given a prominent role in the diagnosis of tuberculosis. Earlier it was primarily sputum examination and after the sputum examination was negative we used to ask patient to uh, get a course of antibiotics and then return for a check x-ray. Now this is no longer true now and uh, our uh, guideline national guidelines have been updated and they say that from a presumptive symptoms which I just told you the patient can go either for the smear examination or a chest x-ray whatever has been ordered should be respected and the patient then goes into the loop of the diagnosis of tuberculosis. And if you have done x-ray all of you know what are the features bilaterality of the lesion, upper lobe lesions, lesions showing cavitation with mediastinal